Good morning, Pelham Road. Well, this is Friday, and I call him Friday, Shaka Khan Friday. You may not know who Shaka Khan was, but she was a musician, and she had a song called Tell Me Something Good. So, in the comment section below this, I want you to tell me something good. Something good that happened this week to you or your family. Uh, could be something good at work, something good at home, but just something good. All right? I'm going to close out the devotions this week with a prayer. Um, I've been writing my prayers for a long time. Uh, one of the reasons why I write prayers um, is because... Uh, I think so often when we are asked to pray, uh, we just default to um, we default to tried and true sayings that we have heard before, and they're not necessarily from our heart. And I know that there's a criticism of people who write our prayers that ours are not from our heart. But I find for myself, I can't speak for anyone else, I find for myself that to sit down in a room and to think about what is happening in my life or what's happening in the world or what I'm concerned about or what I hope for, that by thinking about these things, I'm able to put together a prayer that is purposeful, that uh, is both sincere and heartfelt, uh, but it is also meaningful. It's to the point. And so I've always found inspiration, since I like to write prayers, I've always found inspiration from other written prayers. And so there's probably three or four dozen that I find extraordinarily helpful, and uh, sort of universal prayers that you could pray at almost any time that they would have purpose and meaning. And so I'm going to share one of those with you today from Alan Patton. Alan wrote the, the book, uh, Cry the Beloved Country. It's a story about South Africa and apartheid in South Africa, his most famous book and very influential book. And uh, he was an Anglican. And so uh, this is his prayer, and his prayer is entitled, The Work of Peace. Give us courage, O Lord, to stand up and be counted. To stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. To stand up for ourselves when it is needful for us to do so. Let us fear nothing more than we fear you. Let us love nothing more than we love you. For thus we shall fear nothing also. Let us have no other God before you, whether nation or party or state or church. Let us seek no peace other than the peace which is yours. And make us instruments of that peace. Opening our eyes and our ears and our hearts so that we should know always what work of peace we do in your name. Amen.